Hi everybody. Previously, I said that I will produce three videos covering three different pasturage animals realistically produced with Yenesve two-piece joint body method, and specially choosing different body shape animals to be more informative, or we can say to make the tutorials more educational. A camel in the desert, uh, so the desert and the pyramid was the cake, and the tiger on the rocks, so the rocks was the cake, and this time I'm going to produce another one as a third example, which I like to call prancing horse in the woods. As you understand, the woods will be the cake. I will be doing this horse also with the same detail step-by-step -step method, which I did the other two. So I don't know when I'm going to do the next similar one, but I don't think it will be very soon. So, but it's clearly these three examples will show you that if you follow the steps, you can achieve many other designs at your own discretion. So some of you may remember the unicorn cake, which I did a couple of years ago. Yes, it was the same, a similar cake, similar tutorial. But in the meantime, we have improved our uh, technical parts. So the equipment is being improved. And at the same time, we learn from our experience that we can maybe teach in a better way. So that's why I thought it will be a good idea have another go with larger horse without the horn. Let's look at our drawing first as a plan and then the initial steps, initial planning steps and the modeling steps we don't worry about now because we're going to worry about it when we start modeling the, the horse. So first of all, normally we call animals it is, but I like to call she is. So I like to give her that personality that we always talk about she is. She's standing on one leg and all the other three foot is in the air. So uh, she has a kind of very light coffee cream skin. And then I will also give to the skin is a kind of pearly look. So because when we look at all those light uh, golden color horses, they have a kind of metallic sort of shiny look under the sunlight. So I like to create that kind of uh, reflection. It will be fantastic if it's like the silky look here, like a very light coffee color, and then the white matte flat color of the mane and the tail. So I also want to do the cake. It's very, very dark in color so that the light color horse is just like under the sunlight is jumping out of the view. All right, I like to create that look. So she's standing, as I said, in one foot, on one foot, and all the other legs is in the air. And then she is actually touching one point here, one point behind the, the bum here, and then under the chest here, one, two, three points will be holding that horse in the position. The tail also touching the ground, but this will only hold the horse after everything is dry. So that's fine. Okay. Uh, the head is straightforward, but we're going to do it a little bit more front here. And uh, as you see, the legs are in different position. That is something that to be really taken uh, into account. And uh, that's all. And then I will also do like the teeth. This will be quite interesting here. And uh, yes. So um, initial steps are four. So number one, produce a picture of animal side view, head forward and the legs level with the ground unless it will be placed on a slope. I should say also, if they are not on the ground. So it's just like in the air, all right? So second one is a draw neck to back leg or front to back leg template on the transparent sheet, which is what we're going to do. So we're gonna start from the neck here, go to the whole body and then take one leg only. So that will be the piece of pastillage, which we have to uh, trial the, the amount of pastillage what we need as a third uh, stage over here. Uh, what it says is like a, uh, do an exercise half body and front leg separate to determine the weight and the stretch shape. So once we determine the, the amount of pastures what we need for the half body, we're going to stretch that into a, like a very straight, I call this sausage, because we're going to draw it this direction to make a different, different thickness and then after that bend accordingly. So then after that, uh, we have to draw the stretch shape uh, as a kind of template so we can check it, we can double check what we're doing is correct. So you'll see all those things anyway. Uh, now, before uh, I go through the uh, tools and material and the recipes and ingredients, I like to introduce you the cake. So that uh, we're not going to do the tutorial about the cake, but I like to at least give you a good amount of information. So if you want to do it, you can also follow me.
I already conditioned my pastilloche. It's nice and uh, soft, uh, not too soft. And also uh, the pastillage is just like the room temperature. It will give you the maximum time I can work with, all right? So when I look at this uh, picture here, I try to get exactly the same what I did over here. So I'm aiming to make a, a nice floating in the air fringe. And then they're also like a really really just uh, uh, waving in the air, waving in the wind, the, 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 what do you call the mane, and not so regular, not so parallel lines that they're bigger and smaller and then thicker and thicker and thinner uh, uh, bunches. It comes, it comes up down here, maybe a little bit more, okay? And then uh, also nice big uh, tail, which is even touching to the floor, maybe a little bit, but uh, I want to have a sort of like a gap in between here so that it gives a like a nice uh, airy, windy look, all right? So uh, let's look at now the pastillage again. The, all my tools are ready. Scissors, a nice clean knife, a bit oiled with a, just a oily, oily cotton here. And then uh, a knife and uh, everything here. So also like the egg white that I will need it just to, just to glue the pieces, all right? Okay, now table, a little bit oil. Hands a little bit oily, all right? Just a piece comes out. Give another neat. I want to do first the main. I want to apply a little bit of egg white. Egg white. So uh, what will happen is like there will be moisture here and then and not so wet. It's going to be like a sticky. So but everything what I touch over here, it will stay there. It doesn't go anywhere. All right. So make sure that it's like a really sticky here, all right? Okay, maybe just put over here also a little bit. Okay, and a little bit here. All right, let's go. So uh, this part here, goes behind and I'm pushing down. You don't need to use any roller. If you want, you can. So I want to have, I want to have something about, about this thick uh, behind and very, very thin in the front. All right. All right, now knife. I'm not cutting. I'm just marking here and cutting only the end bits because I used that part of the knife. So that is the other side because we're going to place it like this. So I'm going to make the same thing over here. Just give some lines. All right, now scissors. One cut, second cut, one big cut, one small cut, another small cut, big cut. So that just variation, variety of, of the cuts, not completely. And then using that part of the scissor, not in the tip. Okay, so go, go like this, go like this. Another small, big, another small, maybe a couple of more small. All right, that's it. So you have to, you have to do this one is a little bit of rush, okay? Because pastelage, I want to give pastelage some movement, so I don't want to wait too long. All right. Okay, I like to this side. I'm going to use this one first, and maybe add some more at the bottom and also at the top. All right. Touch a little bit, the right white here. So I'm pretty happy with that, what's happening here. That's already good enough. And then just give, before the pastures get too, too hard and brittle, 
give some movements. And I firmly stick that bit on the back of the, the shoulder. So, now, that is, hit the cut a little bit. All right. One punch, turning here. A little bit of weight right here. So it stays wherever I take my stick. Okay, here. Right, now I like to separate. Give a bit of like really waves and then like irregularity. All right. I think quite happy already with this one here. Also give a bit of motion here. There. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's go for the fringe now. I like the top part. Okay, let's go for the fringe now. Again, same thing. Now this time, I like to use only, only the scissor, okay? So have a nice round shape over here. Didn't like it. I don't like it when the sugar sticks to the scissor. Mm. That's not bad. Okay, let's see how it does look like. That's a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna cut one piece off from here. Look at that. Elvis Presley. Just go a little bit like this. Check it in front. Mm, I like it. Nice. Nice big fringe. Now, what we do with the tail. The tail is a little bit different. I need to have a, about this size. Oh, well. round. Put it down. A little bit this way. Okay. I think a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit off here. All right. Okay, this one. Oh, well. Push it down, both side thin. Nice. Clean the knife. Oil the knife. There's some oil on this on this towel. Okay, now 
first mark the top part. Just make it really, really fine lines representing hair. Okay, and then go to the next part. The last part, cutting. Nice. Okay. Now, hopefully that will happen what I'm looking for. Yes. Yes. Stick it here. First, cut this. Stick it here. Okay, now, like this, like that, like that, and like that. That's nice. So once we have this one, you get the next piece. You have to rest this on the on the leg here. I like it. Okay. Domain is already finished. Just have a little bit of touching up here. Maybe what I have to do, take this off, cut this a little bit more, this way here. Go back again on the same spot. Not sticky enough. Put it here. Rest it in there. That means already done. Okay. So all what we have to do now, since that we finished with all this, all the work, let me check one more time and look at it here. That could be slightly smaller, okay? That's it. That looks better. Okay. Um, now all what we have to do, clean up a little bit, remove that protection line so we can see the beautiful uh, surface of the uh, brown velvet and then uh, we just look at it again without uh, having this everything around and see how it looks like.